Have you guys ever been catcalled or harassed before? I have a few times. I've been in the city for pre-college and high school and in college. And let me tell you, you'll meet some weird, creepy people sometimes. The first few times I actually didn't realize I was being catcalled, I was walking in the city and a group of guys were like, Hey there, cutie. Looking good. Me, being the clueless high schooler with no experience, I was like, Oh, he's complimenting me. That's nice. I'll say hello back. Hello and thank you. The funniest thing is, <laughs> when I genuinely said hello back, they like had this look on their face and they were like, Oh. What the heck? She actually responded in reaction? <laughs> the confusion on their faces. But I guess they saw that as an opportunity and they were like, Why don't you come hang out with us? Oh yeah, let me just randomly hang out with three strangers while I'm underage with no one around. We're gonna have tea parties and play pretend I won't get kidnapped. Probably. Yeah, that's gonna work out just fine for me. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. I have somewhere to be. Which I actually did. I gotta catch the bus, but I'm not telling them where I'm going. Ah, oh, come on. Just hang out with us for a little bit. No, I gotta go. Bye! Yeah, I was not sticking around there. Sometimes people are genuinely complimenting you, but there's a difference between a compliment or just trying to get sexual attention from someone just walking by, minding their own business. I've heard people say people get catcalled because of what we wear, so we're asking for it. Brush it up! I was wearing a big pink jacket and it was fluffy! I do think, depending on what you wear, you will attract more attention. But that does not mean it's something we're asking for. It is not an invitation for harassment. Dressing modestly helps to have that happen less, but it'll still happen regardless no matter what. Clearly from my experiences. Be safe out there everyone. No matter who you are or what you wear, it is still possible to get harassed like that. Hey sexy. Uh... Yes! I am! That was only one experience. It honestly only gets worse from there. I remember walking with a friend, I'll call her Tic Tac because she has an obsession with Tic Tacs. <laughs> Anyways, Tic Tac and I were just chatting and talking about where to go and then from the corner of my eye, I see this guy walking up to us real close, real fast. My friend though, the absolute adorable airhead she is, doesn't understand what's going on. The guy comes up to us. Hey beautiful. Hi! <laughs> Bro, who is this guy? You're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you! Bro, I kid you not, this guy starts to lean in, getting real close, like, yo, personal space. Without a second thought, I grab her shoulder and just start dragging her down the street. And she's still confused, like, girl, huh? You, what's wrong? <laughs> just keep walking and stop talking. I look back for a second, and this dude is still following, like, bro, I don't know who you are, why are you trying to touch her? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh my god, oh my god, go, 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 When we finally got away, she was still confused. Huh? What happened? What's wrong? Tic Tac, I love you, but this random dude was trying to touch you, how do you not see that? Oh! You saved me! Thank you, dude! Yay! I don't think she understood what really just happened, but oh my gosh. Tic Tac, if you're watching this, I hope you're safe out there. I miss you, baby girl. Mwah. <laughs> it just makes no sense people could just look at others as a sexual object and then use them like that. It makes me sick and it messes with your head. Like this one situation, I think about it sometimes and I just feel degraded. I was on the train, just sitting down, and I was really tired and I just had a terrible day. I was lost in thought and I felt like I was in my own world in my own thoughts. I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening around me, which you should never do when you're in the city with all kinds of people, but still, I mentally wasn't there. Suddenly, I came to. And I noticed this guy was really close to me. In fact, he was getting even closer around his crotch area. I was still in a daze from being tired. I was basically half asleep, but I could hear his friends laughing in the background. Damn, she's pretty cute. Look at her. Damn, 
She's not even moving. I wonder if she's asleep. <laughs> it kind of looks like she's sucking it. Come on, girl. Suck it. Uh, huh? What? What just? <laughs> 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 it took me a bit to process what was going on, but when I looked up, they were gone. I turned around and they were just walking by me, leaving the subway, and the doors closed. I didn't even have a chance to confront them. Some people were looking at me as if they knew what was going on, but they just turned their heads away and just looked at their phones. I leaned back against my seat and put together what just happened despite being in the daze. I felt disgusted with them and myself. I felt like an idiot for not paying attention and I just thought about what people would think about how stupid I am and not them. I just sat there for the rest of the train ride with another thing to add to my terrible day list. I just want you guys to know, stay safe out there and pay attention to your surroundings. You never know what could happen, especially with everything going on lately. I don't mean you guys should be paranoid every second, but just be mindful of the things around you. I'm doing my best to work on that since I spaced out a lot myself. Have you guys had any experiences like these? Let me know in the comments! Only things you are comfortable with sharing and be mindful of others when replying. This can be a very sensitive topic, so please be kind to each other. Hello! Thank you for watching! Did you guys enjoy the video? I know it's not like my usual videos, although there's been creepy guy videos, but this was a little... Mm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but also, thank you, True, for helping me edit. He did so much of the editing, so thank you, thank you very much. And did you guys notice the notice the references? <laughs> I I used some interesting interesting characters, so yeah. I hope you noticed them. <laughs> and also, the person who voiced the the characters, and I would like to thank them, but they don't want to be named. So let's say thank you to friend <laughs> our nice good old friend <laughs> but yeah do you guys have any stories like these let me know in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys later bye bye <laughs>